Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is gonna be the top 10 mods of the week for all platforms. We're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. All right, for number one, we have the Silo King Static Line. This is by Smeddy. 1.52 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 68 people having rated it. There is two models in this. They're both found on the place of one. This is the larger one here. This is the Static Line 200. There's also a Static Line 40. These are able to mix uh, straw, silage, and hay into TMR for you. Um, the bigger one just has a larger capacity. That's the main difference there. But uh, yeah, just a fantastic mod to be able to mix your TMR and do whatever you need to do with that. So there you go. If you're looking for a nice little TMR factory, this might be exactly what you're looking for. All right, for number two, we have the Brochard Pack. This is by NicoDo55. 37.42 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 102 people having rated it. If we go ahead and take a look in the store, this is a really cool um, trailer set here. A lot of good detail on it. It's kind of an older school trailer. It's kind of my perception of it. Well, it looks pretty cool, especially if you put that auger, um, you can see that kind of auger attachment on the back there, but that is optional. So if we take a look inside the store. As you can see in here, we have several options available all the way up to this guy right here, which will hold up to 37,400 liters. And this guy right here will hold up to 17,800 liters. And if we go into these guys here, there's different customizations with auger wagon, reg with auger, wa auger wagon, and a set of other just kind of just miscellaneous things. You can change the design color if you'd like to, which is that back there. But yeah, a lot of different configurations on this. Um, you should be able to change the capacity if I can find it in here. Beacon lines, rear lights, side markers. Uh, capacity, there we go, standard, grain body work, um, silage body work, and then back to standard. Now I haven't tested it, so I'm not sure if this will only hold silage products, um, which usually the silage kind of trailers that are in game will only hold like hay, straw, and silage and that sort of thing. But I haven't tested that. But uh, yeah, there you guys go. That is the Brochard Pack by Nico Do 55 Really good trailer pack. So make sure you guys go check it out and download it. All right, for number three, we have the Small Iron Ore Silo. This is by Top Ace 888 2.83 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 57 people having rated it. Just as it sounds, this is a $40,000 silo that will hold 100,000 liters of your iron ore. So this works really well with the Platinum Expansion. It does, it does require the Platinum Expansion to work, so just be aware of that. But yes, this will hold your iron ore. Um, it can also hold stones as well. So you can also put stones here as well. I should note that as well. But uh, And you can see those two icons on the silo itself on the top. But really cool to kind of have a kind of a stone and iron ore silo available to you. Um, but yeah, and one other note before we move on to the next mod, any of these mods you guys download and you guys enjoy, make sure you guys leave a rating for the modder. Um, you can do that in the in-game mod hub. After you download it and play with the mod, the game will allow you to rate it if you go back into the mod hub. So make sure you guys go ahead and leave these guys a five out of five rating if you enjoyed their mods. It definitely goes to help out the modders that make our game so much cooler and so much better. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that. All right, for number four, we have the Kloss Lexion 600-700 series from 2012 to 2020, and this is the US version. This is by Sid Mining, 121.51 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.8 out of five stars, with 213 people having rated it. This is a fantastic harvester pack. Now this doesn't include its own headers, I should note that as well, but there's plenty of modded headers. This would work great, honestly, with like the Duras pack or some other large header packs that are out there. But if we go ahead and take a look in the store, as you can see in here, we have lots of different customizations. You can see the 2012, the 2015, 2017, and also 2012, 2015, 2017, just basically larger versions. Um, yeah, and you can do tracks on these guys. You can do wheels in the front. There's a lot of different, I like how they have different kind of photos. It was like, I love those big chunky tires on there. Um, there's tons of customization. You can get huge grain capacities on this. So um, these guys up here are 21,000 liters. You can get those uh, going for you. So these things are absolutely fantastic. But again, there you go. That is a very large harvester pack, especially for you Kloss fans out there. Um, this is a really good Lexian pack. So make sure you guys go ahead and check this out. All right, for number five, the most controversial and most downloaded mod of the week, the Lizard XJ, and I love it. I should note that as well. This is by Dominic, who's made a ton of cool mods out there. This is 17.82 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.6 out of five stars with 550 people having rated. That's craziness for how quick this has gone up there in ratings. So um, absolutely well done for a mod to have that many ratings and still be rocking a 4.6. That is absolutely awesome. So well done, Dominic. I'm excited to see what else you do. But this thing is an incredible Jeep that only starts out at $3,900. It's a ton of customization, ranges between 350 and 750 horsepower, and has a ton of wheel configurations. You can either do the big ones like I have out here. You can do tracks on this thing, all sorts of cool things. It also has a configuration that'll auto load pallets, which is awesome. You can do a 10,000 liter configuration or a 100,000 liter unrealistic configuration you can also do different bumpers different colors all that good stuff that you expect on a mod like this so again if you want something to get around your farm or auto load your pallets this thing is incredible so make sure you guys check it out 
All right, for number six, we have the Chicken Barn Lard. This is by Lost Gamer, Vergamini Modding, and Grand Giro. I'm pretty sure Vergamini Modding is all one word there. It's kind of listed interesting on the mod hub. Um, this is 7.66 megabytes to download, so no big deal to download there. It's for all platforms, currently rated 4.9 out of 5 stars, with 68 people having rated it. This thing's going to run you $20,000 and price to buy $10 a day upkeep. Um, it has a couple of doors that open up for you. You can see just down below on the bottom left-hand side where you put your food in. You can see where you can get your animals in and out there on the bottom. Um, I haven't taken a look at where the chicken eggs will come out or where the eggs will spawn, so you have to take a look at that. Um, they might spawn actually inside somewhere cool. I see a little uh, checkered area inside, so I think they're actually going to spawn inside of that barn there, which is fine, um, which is pretty cool. And this thing will hold 360 chickens, which is great for only $20,000. So again, great, highly detailed chicken farm here, or chicken pen, however you want to call it. Chicken barn large. There we go. I should just call it by the mod name. But make sure you guys go ahead and check this out. All right, for number seven, we have the Lizard Gravity Wagon. This is by MDZ Company SGJ Modding. 9.81 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 41 people having rated it. This is a gravity wagon, which means it just dumps out the bottom, uh, but it's really cool. It's kind of an older school trailer is what I would describe it as. It has a few customization options. Um, it does have a swivel front hitch, so I should note that for those of you that hate that. Um, it's only $11,000 to buy and holds 8,000 liters of grain for you. Um, and you can also chain this together, so you can put 50 of these together if you really wanted to. I'm not sure how well that would move, but uh, it would be kind of fun. So yeah, again, Lizard Gravity Wagon by MDZ Company SGJ Modding. Make sure you guys go ahead and check this baby out. For number eight, we have the Bifa Shortwood platform. I'm probably saying that wrong, but Bifa, Bifi, I don't know, whatever you want to say, say for it. This is by HR Forst und uh, Fersen, uh, uh, just read it on the screen. I don't know how to say words. Um, this is 6.98 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 68 people having rated it. This is a back designed to go on the FH16 Volvo from the Platinum DLC. Um, so just make sure you're aware of that. That's the truck you're gonna wanna hook this baby up to. Only runs $88,000, great for doing logging and different stuff like that. It's got a really nice big old crane on the back of it there too for you to use. So there you guys go, the Bifa Shortwood Platform. For number nine, we have the Specialty Country Store. This is by a Scandinavian Vikings Mod Rebuilds team. 15.66 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.7 out of five stars. Only 31 ratings, but I really like this. First off, it is highly detailed. It is a sell point. Um, you, it's highly detailed. There's a ton of good details on it. You got that little static van on there. Some of you guys don't like like static vehicles, but I think it adds a little life to it. On the back side of this mod, what you're not seeing is the dump point. We're gonna dump stuff into this to sell it because it does work as a sell point. And you also have an electric vehicle charging station on the back built into this building, which is really cool. I think that's a cool feature. This thing is a place for you to sell wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybean, corn, potatoes, sugar, honey, sugar beet cut, eggs, seeds, sugar cane, pig food, olive, uh, mineral feed, flour, bread, cake, butter, cheese, fabric, clothes, cereal, sunflower oil, canola, olive oil, grape, raisins, grape, juice, uh, chocolate, strawberries, lettuce, and tomatoes. And again, you get electric charge from it, so pretty cool. There you guys go, that's the specialty country store. All right, for number 10 in our final mod for the day, we have the John Deere 612FC slash 712FC. Does that mean farmer cop? No, it doesn't, but anyhow, it's cool anyways. This is by JHHG Modding. This is 16.61 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated a whopping 4.9 out of five stars with 98 ratings so far. Um, yes, this is a foldable corn header pack that's gonna work really well, obviously, with your John Deere vehicles because it's a John Deere pack, but it's very cool. They're not too much to buy. There's two different options in this. One's just a different year model, which is the 612FC. FC, and there's obviously the 712 FC, which is the one that you see pictured before you. Um, these bad boys are 9.1 meters in width. Uh, they're around you about 94,500 or so around that area. And the really cool part, which I like the most about this, is instead of six miles an hour, these guys run at seven miles per hour, which I know one extra mile per hour doesn't sound like a big deal, but over the course of a very large field, that actually will add up to quite a bit of time because you're going like, what, 15 or so percent faster? I can't do math immediately in my head, but it might even be better than that. So there you guys go. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys drop a like down below because that is our top 10 mods for the week. And if you guys have not already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below uh, to make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and make sure you guys turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future top 10 videos or other videos that I may post on my channel. Again, thank you guys. This has been Farmer Cop. I appreciate you and have a good rest of your week.